in that this is a day of forgiveness of sin and Eid for the people on that day in in the Hajj and it is recommended highly to be fasted for those who are not making the Hajj and it is the day when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala perfected the deen and his favors upon this ummah they don't need they don't need any other day it is reported from Umar ibn al-Khattab may Allah be pleased with him that a man from the Jews told Umar ya amir al-mu'mineen o leader of the believers fi kitabikum ayah in your book there is a verse تقرؤونها you recite it لو علينا معشر اليهود نزلت لاتخذنا ذلك اليوم عيدا had it been revealed upon us meaning the Jews we would have taken that day as a عيد قال أي آية عمر asked him which آية he, the Jew, recited the ayah from Surah Al-Ma'idah, verse 3. اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتممت عليكم نعمتي ورضيت لكم الإسلام دينا The Jew recited this verse. This day, those who disbelieved have given up all hope of your religion, so fear them not, but fear me. This day I have perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and have chosen for you Islam as your deen. Umar responded, عَرَفْنَا ذَلِكَ الْيَوْمِ We knew that day. والمكان, and the place, الذي نزلت فيه. The day and the place when this verse was revealed on that day upon the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam while standing on Arafah on a day of a Friday and in the narration reported by al tabari Umar responds said in his response نزلت في يوم الجمعة it was revealed, revealed on a Friday ويوم عرفة and on the day of عرفة وكلاهما بحمد الله لنا عيدا and both are عيد for us all praise is due to Allah the end of Umar's response and Aisha may Allah be pleased with her and her father said that the messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم said ما من يوم أكثر من أن يعتق الله فيه عبدا من النار من يوم عرفة وإنه ليدنو ثم يباهي الملائكة فيقول ما أراد هؤلاء She said that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said there is no day when Allah sets free more of his slaves from hell than this day of عرفة he draws near, subhanahu wa ta'ala, then praises them to the angel, saying, what do these want? What do these want? And here I would like to draw your attention that in the footnote concerning this hadith, in the translation of Sahih Muslim, the one available by Siddiqi. And this is not the only, this is not the only thing, but just to draw your attention to this in particular. He in the footnote said, concerning the statement of Allah subhanahu the statement of the Prophet sallallahu that Allah draws near on this day. He said this is not physical and the like. We say, 
we believe that this is the true and real. And Allah descends and draws near in the way that fits His Majesty. And this is an alteration of the meaning. And this is not the only place where this happened in this translation. And we have pointed this matter more than once in other occasions as well. And also in the hadith which is reported by Imam Ahmad and by Ibn Khuzayma and Al-Albani graded it rahimahullah as good. Abi Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, said that the Messenger of Allah said, إن الله يباهي بأهل عرفات أهل السماء Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praises the people of عرفات praises them to the inhabitants of the heavens فيقول لهم and tells them انظروا إلى عبادي look at my slaves جاءوني شعتا غبرا they came to me disheveled and dusty disheveled and dusty. So this hadith tells of the merits of the day of Arafah. And that it's one of the days where the invocations are answered. And as Al-Hafidh ibn Rajab rahimahullah said, the hadith is in general. أن العتق من النار عام لجميع المسلمين. That the deliverance from the hell on this day is general. It covers all the Muslims. So they have to invoke Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sincerely on this day. Not only that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave a special reward on this day as reported in the hadith which Abi Qatad al-Ansari 